Hey guys, this uh, beer review is going to be an extra special one um, because it's Twickenham Ales Naked Ladies and if you've seen some of my other reviews you will have seen I did a review on the brewery or a visit at the very least and Stuart and the guys down there are really really cool guys um, and they gave me this one for free. Now, um, Naked Ladies you can get or you used to be able to get a bottle conditioned um, version there was an experiment that they did but this is the only beer you can buy in bottles at the moment so it's quite special um, Twickenham Fine Ales um, they usually do cask only so very privileged to have this one and they've done this beer in collaboration with Bath Ales what they do they brew um, up the beer they put it in a big old vat when it's ready send it off to Bath um, at Bath Ales put it in the bottles for them. I, th I think they must do the labelling as well because um, there's very similarities, there's a lot of similarities shall we say. Okay, Naked Ladies. 4.4, it's quite refreshing. If you've had it in the pub, this is more or less as near as you can get it in the bottle because it's been non-pasteurised um, so they haven't killed anything off but they've definitely filtered it so it should be like a draught um, and not like a bottle conditioned ale. Um, as I say, 4.4 on the ABV, and it's got Salia and Chinook hops. Salia sounds like a porn star to me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to dive in. This one is very special. So, thank you to uh, who have we got? We got Stuart, we got Dave and Ben over there. I'm sure I met some other people, but I don't know what their names were. Let's crack in. Whoa. Bit of fizz. Bit of smoke as well, which is always good. Now it's got to be done in a traditional pint glass. Mmm, definitely getting a nice hoppy, uh, hoppy aroma there. I'm um, going to go for a, a mellow pour, I think. Yeah. Maybe try and get a little head on it at the end. There we go. Look at how clear it is. Non-pasteurised, as I said, like um, unlike the macro breweries, um, but we got a little bit of carbonation in there, so we've obviously done a bit of a trickery with that one. Mm, three quarters of a finger head. Look at that golden colour. Can you see me through there? Very, very clear beer. Very golden. Mmm, lovely, lovely, refreshing smell. I'd say that's the Chinook I'm getting the, the smell of. Very similar to a sort of grassy, um, a grassy hop such as... Um, no, it's kind of got, it's, it's unique, it's not really, it's not Cascade and it's not Citra, somewhere, somewhere in the middle, so it must be the, must be the Chinook. I was going to say Citra to start with but I read it on the side didn't I? <laughs> Can't get away with that one when they name the hops on the bottle. Right. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Twickenham Fine Ales. Um, brilliant place to go, and I suggest you do go. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Let's get in there. Mm. Big old hit getting taste exploding in my mouth. I am getting that kind of grassy kind of note, but there's something in the background, maybe a little bit of a citrus, maybe even a little mint in there. A little bit of uh, bitterness left, left on the palate at the end, such as kind of maybe a lager would do. So if you're a lager drinker, Naked ladies, you could do uh, you could do better than an introduction into the world of ales. Mm. Getting a good old hit on there. Ping, ping, ping. 
the little bubbles, some very small little bubbles, were exploding in my mouth. And you do get that slightly citrusy, followed by a bit of grass, and a tiny bit of mint. I'm not sure exactly what that mint is. Ooh. Pardon me. Even tastes good on the belch. Mmm, the hot the hot profile is there, it's definitely there, but it's not prominent like like some of the other cascade kind of um beers would be like the, the really heavily IPA IPAs, the doubles, the triples, that kind of stuff. So I've said it before, but I think Twickenham are kind of going down the route of the US style, but putting the British stamp on it, if you like. Um, it's not like an American uh, style beer, um, but neither is it like a British style. Um, and I found out from Stuart, who's the current head brewer, that the old guy at the old premises, who I've forgotten his name, <laughs> he was American. So is it any wonder that they've gone down that route? Mmm, smells good. I wonder if Stuart's going to do any more traditional kind of um, British styles. Um, we'll see. Hopefully he'll be there a long, long time. Cheers, Stu. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, if you're watching this after November um, 2013, the shop will be open at, no um, I was going to say Noble Green, they sell this in Noble Green. The shop will be open at Twickenham Fine Ales. You can find it on their website, find the address. It's, it's a bit of a, a rabbit warren to find the place, to be honest. If you've got a sat-nav though, you'll get in there no problem. And to be honest, we didn't have that much of a problem finding it, but trying to get out of there, if you take a wrong turn, oof, forget about it. Um, yeah, their shop's going to be open. And at the weekends, when the rugby season's on, they're going to be opening up the brewery as like a beer keller. So they're going to have um, big tables in the middle of the, the brew house. You're going to be able to buy the beer and drink it on draft from the cask straight from the brewery. It's going to be literally a piss up in a, a brewery. You can't argue with that. Um, don't know if I could organise that, but cheers guys. Twickenham Fine Hells have done well. Um, going back to the beer, very nice, very refreshing. Um, I would say it's more a summer style, um, even though we're getting into sort of autumn now. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's, you could drink it any time, four and a half. You could have a few pints of these um, and sit and chill out, um, maybe with some food. I think it'll work really well with chicken or fish. Um, but yeah, I think, think over the winter time, I prefer a darker beer. So, Twickenham Fine Owls, challenge to you. Let me have a, let me have one of the darker beers when you bottle them, yeah? <laughs> Guys, see you later. Please check out their website um, when it's ready. Um, really good, good brewery in London. Cheers. Twickers Knickers.